All right. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be, this is Quidabble, and we're going to be doing uh, a battle in Faction Wars Sacred Order Crypt. And what we're going to talk about today is beating that Stage 7 right here with a group of characters uh, that are all free to play. And just beating Stage 7, that way you can get it done, get it over with. You can see Aethel, she's my starter character. She's booked and she has a good set of armor. Rank 5, level 50. Ascended, getting all of her skills in there. Speed that up here real quick. Now the key to beating this one is to get those two champions on the sides killed. And because Aethel is a rank 5 level 50 character and she has an AoE, she, um, she can take those out and then it just becomes an attack versus attack. And her heal, because she's wearing lifesteal gear, kind of balances out. So that's the how this one works. So now that uh, he puts a uh, provoke back on Aethel. She can't really use her other abilities, but it doesn't really matter because her lifesteal gear is just making it a punch for punch attack and, or battle, and it's not—it's just—it's just not going to happen. So, if you have Aethel as your starter character, or if you pick her up later in the game. Uh, having one rank 550 character is what it took in this battle. There you go. One uh, glyph and got some items. Now what's important about beating stage 7 is that this is one of the requirements uh, every now and then on the daily challenge. You have to down here it would say beat a faction wars boss and you can't get all your your dailies done excuse me it's in advanced and you can't get your dailies done until you beat a faction wars uh, boss stage so for you to get this one complete all available quests and that's why getting at least stage seven on five or six or all of your factions. Uh, that's why it's important because you're losing out on an energy and that would cost you at least two points. This is a 25 day cycle if you can get all points every day, every 10 points every day and if you take out two of those every day then it just slows down your progress on getting this tome within every 25 days. Actually all this stuff, that rank 5 chicken is fabulous. So now we're gonna go into each champion and I'm gonna show you what they're wearing and how you can uh, inexpensively equip them. All right, so after that battle, now we can see what's actually going on with each champion. So this is the Sacred Order Crypt, and I put them in order of their speed. So this champion is the starter champion, Aethel. I booked her, so she has all her skills up. And because she is in my basically every team, especially uh, arena, I've got her speed up to 171. She's speed tuned in that arena team to go third. So I'm not gonna mess with her speed here, but I just wanted to show you between the stats and the armor that I chose. So I've got life steal and I've got offense and it's given me these boosts. Her skills haven't been, or her masteries have not been upgraded that far. Um, she is five star. Ascended 5 and level 50 
and then you can see the armors that she have and these are the types of armor for these spots that I gave her and then I just want to point out that being I uh, wanted to show you that from a starter account point of view, a free to play starter account point of view, that this is what the great hall looks like for this account. That way I'm not giving you something again with you know this all being maxed out. I don't have any upgrades for any void uh, abilities and this being um, blue magic you can see that it's just an attack increase and an accuracy increase of level one. But yeah, so here's, uh, she's the first one to go in this cycle, and then here's all her stats down here. You can see that they're pretty good. I mean, you know, for a starter character, level, uh, rank five, level 50, she's pretty good. And then when you go to the next page that I've created here, you can see that these are the teammates that she, I've chosen with her. Here's Sergeant, he's an uncommon. Uh, rank three, level 30, only ascended one. And this is for my coding, this means that uh, he's got armor on and he's got that he's the character that I'm working for uh, he's only got an upgrade of one so I haven't really got that many to upgrade his skills and then no since since there's not a rank 40 there's no uh, accessories and you can see that it's crit rate attack and HP and the speed for this is 107 so that's why I put him in the second position named him second that way you could see what's going on here uh, he's going to destroy armor and a speed set armor and the main reason that, that I've got that is because I've been grinding a lot or I've been trying to get uh, War Maiden and War Maiden accessories uh, the extra characters the extra champions come out of the same campaign level that gives you destroy armor so that's why this champion happens to be in destroy armor it was a good set of armor and I just put it in there and then the battle sister she's a uncommon champion again level 30 rank 3 only ascended one um, couple upgrades have happened and then you can see that she's in complete offensive sets she's got a speed of 104 and that's why she's in the third position. That's just saying that she's going third in order. And then crit dam, damage, attack, and defense. And these armors you can see are level fours, eights, and nines. Nothing really too, too big. And then on the next page, you can see that it's War Priest. And you, I've got her in, I believe this is the starter armor you get from the, the days you're logging in, your seven days, or your second seven days you log in. I believe that's what this armor is, with HP, HP, and defense percent. All these are percentages. She's 102 on speed, so that means she goes fourth. And you see she's all in life set gear and just a couple masteries, nothing, nothing really high. No skill upgrades. And then the last one was Crusader. So Crusader, he's uh, in here, and you can see he is rank four, but I still haven't even added a ring to him. Level twos and threes for armor, um, offensive set, divine offensive set to give him that shield. That's what uh, divine means is usually it does something, plus it gives you a shield based on your HP. And no masteries done. Speed 94 and 5th. So you can see that these are the champions that you can use free to play and get through stage 7 of the Sacred Order Crypt. So again, thank you for watching today. And I just wanted to say that I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Please make some comments down below. And enjoy your day. Have a good one.